Good morning and welcome to day three of this uh, little runabout around the East Midlands and Corby. 27th of February, so not long to go before I hit March now, even with the extended day. So there's a train in, but I don't think that's how I train. I think that is the one that's going north to Derby. So we're gonna get on this one tomorrow in about 24 hours time. green down that way so yeah this is the Derby one it's been re-liveried into East Midlands Railway livery which is now sort of this dark red purple whatever white doors our train is just past the bridge down there waiting so once this has gone our should come in this train is heading off to Derby without anybody on it We shall be on it tomorrow, whether it be the same unit or not, who knows? Right, the other unit should be coming through shortly. It's formed of five coaches. An at seat service of light refreshments is available on the train. Right, this is our train now heading in. Just waiting outside the station to come in, so now it's here. I'm going two stops with this one this time. We did this same train yesterday, but we went to Kettering. So we're going to go to Wellingborough today and have an explore there. So hopefully we'll stay on schedule today, but uh, again, it remains to be seen. 222015. Just leaving Corby, heading south once again. I'm on the left side this time for a change. So, this is the original bit that British Rail used to run for a brief period in the late 80s. It's got a bit of shine on, does that track, hasn't it? It goes round to the uh, steelworks or something, is it? There's some freight business around there. Far off the Midland main line proper now, at what was Glendon South Junction. I think it still is referred to as that actually as well. stop this time <laughs> to Wellingborough. twice I'm going fast on fast on the main line bang on time 941 from here New bit of platform here, but look of it. That'll be finished sometime soon, hopefully. Right, so ours is the next stop now. Wellingborough. Did you guys want to sit together? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the window. Okay, well you can come here if you want. It's better 
then there's no light shining on the screen. That built some sidings here as well, that catering. Depot. The middle of main lines hardly been touched since the days of steam, this is the thing. So it's long overdue is this. Long overdue. This is the train to London. mentioning at Kettering earlier and that's Wixted Park. Now we're going to go past it shortly whether you'll see it or not on this side I don't know. No, not with that there we won't. No, it's over there somewhere anyway that's for sure. It's flooded down there, know that. Right, yeah, we've passed it anyway, so let's keep going. Some work going on here with the slow line platforms. It's very similar to Kettering when it's finished. We've got an hour and ten minutes here. So the slow lines will be the ones that go through Sharnbrook Tunnel. This won't. And I don't think we'll do it either when we head off in an hour and ten minutes time from here on the next one. <coughs> so Wellingborough, tick. Quite a curve is this it is, isn't it? Right, so Wellingborough, tick. This is the first time we've been here. Wellingborough. Okay, so let's uh, let's head into town and see what there is to see. <coughs> It'll be a green tick station. There's lifts, a lift there, and a lift on the other side as well. So, and there was going to be one there, obviously, when they finished that. Years ago, or rather, not that many years ago, there were semaphore signals here. But Intercity 125s are actually running under control of semaphore signals. They were. Right. Right, on platform one now, this is looking north to Nottingham, Derby, Sheffield, and wherever, the north, and then if we spin round, that's where we're going to head off later to London, or towards London. Only where far south has happened, and this looks uh, all new and improved. Original Midland style station, and uh, a new road just outside it. So we'll go down this way. And these are the bus stop here as well. Head into the town centre for a bit. Right, we just walked up Midland Road from the station and we're approaching the town centre of town now. There's some idiot parts on a double yellow line here. Obviously doesn't care. Selfishness never, it's never ceases to amaze me sometimes. Looks like oh, it's a fitness centre across the other shopping centre. Bought 
Y9 heading for Kettering. X4 heading for Northampton as well. That looks a little bit more glorified bus does that one. Peterborough, Corby, Kettering, Northampton, X4. Oh well, maybe next time. Might pop into the shopping centre shortly. Right. This looks like a rather old building just here. It's now the Nationwide Billy Society. And oh yeah, we'll nip into the We'll nip in there shortly. Oh, hang on. Let's have a look at the church. Right, there's a market here, but it's not on at the moment. Probably the wrong day. Right. And this church is All Hallows Church, Wellingborough. Yeah, very impressive. Nice flower bed. It's closed at the moment, there's no, it's not open. Right, well anyway, let's uh, let's head back and we'll go into that shopping centre. Yeah. Right, let's have a look in this uh, Swansgate shopping centre. See what there is to see. There's a Greg's somewhere in here, I think just to see, yeah, just down there. Oh, I'll submit, I think I might wait, we'll get back to the train station for coffee. Well, there's a few shops and stores and whatnot, but not, not a massive amount. Reminds me a little bit of uh, the one at Crossgates in Leeds. So... We're sorting it. I won't bother buying anything in here actually. We're right over the top of the road here. Not sure which one it is, but it extends over to the car park. It does. So, anyway, let's head out. We'll have a little look further around. Right, I've just come out of that shopping centre now because I must admit there wasn't the right lot to do or buy in there. I just head straight back to the train station. We've got, we've got, still got a fair bit of time yet. We've looked around here now. We go past Energy Fitness. You'll see where we were just a few minutes ago. Above, here yeah, on that that bridge thing up there. That's where we were. Right. right, just come back from the town centre down there and the train station is just ahead. Now I noticed this on the way up, a GR post box, George the Sixth. so that's pretty old is that. Knowing how long our current Queen has been on the throne, over 60 years, well over 60 years. Oh, let's have a look at this sandwich station here. I feel like something here. That little sandwich shop was very nice. So let's head back onto the station now and get the next train south. Right. Uh, new platform being constructed here, platform four, I would imagine. This one's been here quite a while, but it's not really been used very often. <coughs> but the track has got a good shine on it. Anyway, our train will be arriving on platform two, which is the up main. Nottingham service. Oh, 
that this is our next train, just one stop to Bedford. Just leaving Wellingborough. There's still some uh, historical buildings left here from the days of steam, even though it has been electrified. I just switch sides now because these are the lines here that go off to go through Shambrook Tunnel. Now if we drop down, that rises, but then it switches the other way around further up. It's quite interesting is this section. And it does look like both sections are going to be electrified or in the process because there's wires on top of our route and wires on top of this route. I don't think you'll see Shambrook Tunnel. Slow lines curve away now and head for Shamrock Tunnel. We are rising up now to go over the top. It's not a very deep tunnel. Right, the slow lines have rejoined and uh, we follow them now. We're, we're higher up now than that line. See how the height difference is. Uh, because it was only a single track was that through Sharbrook Tunnel, but it's obviously been redoubled because it looks like it's double track all the way. Can't be that far off Bedford now. We are in first class because we've got a first class ticket. Yeah. So we're going to jump off at the next station, Bedford, and head on to Thameslink. to Bedford. So let's see what the next train is now towards 13. It's not a very long connection, it's quite a good quick connection. Right, we've ticked Bedford before today, but we do need the St John's station of course, we haven't got time to do that now. Somebody's uh, not right in the head there I don't think. Right, we've got about seven minutes and then this uh, train is leaving, which we need to be on. God, things that bad here, they're going to chain the buckets up. My word. Ah. I've just, uh, just noticed something that I didn't notice before. There's a down main platform, but no up main. If you're not stopping here on the up main, that's obviously is going to be that track there. So they have built a down platform on the far side. Because I think years ago, everything had to cross over to come to this side. So anyway, let's get on this uh, local service now, this Thameslink service, for a couple of stops. This is the DO services, this one, isn't it? Right, on the move again. So we're going to go to three stops to Lee Grave. Then we'll walk back to Harlington. <coughs> Welcome aboard this service to Brighton. We will be calling at Flittick, Harlington, Lee Grave, Luton. Luton Airport Parkway, Harpenden, St Albans City, West Hampstead Thameslink, That's somewhere just St. down there is where the uh, Farrington, you'll see City it Thames shortly, the lines of London, uh, Bletchley. London Bridge, East Croydon, Gatwick Airport, Three Bridges, Walcombe, Haywards Heath, Wifflesfield, Burgess Hill, and Brighton. Safety information. 
I'm going to go over the top of the Bletchley line shortly. Yep, just there, that's it. We've done part of that, not at all. <coughs> it's hard to believe you used to have things like Royal Scots and whatever it was up here now years ago. In the days of steam, Jubilees. What else would you have had? Yeah, like the Thames Glide Express. Which would have gone into the settle in Carlisle to go to Glasgow. Mm. Those days have long gone. Right, this is Flitic, where we were last year sometime, well, about nearly enough a year ago, weren't we? And there's only one platform that's accessible for wheelchairs here, that far platform which they hardly ever use for stopping trains. I only tend to use these two platforms here. Slow lines and the main lines aren't used except for expresses. Right, welcome to Lee Grave, it's another tick. We've not got much battery power left now, it's dropping like a stone is this battery from fully charged. A bit more efficient when they're driver only, aren't they? Because the driver's doing the doors and you can open them or release them as soon as the train stops within seconds. Right, we're going to walk back to Harlington, which is a previous station. Very long formations there. Right, let's do it. See if we can get out at this side, if we can. There's a car park on it, yes, I'm sure we'll probably be able to get out this side and it saves us having to walk right around the other side. Right, we're not actually going to see a right lot of Lee Grave itself, but anyway, we're going down this way and then just straight to the. Uh, there's an express going through. The far side, you can't see it. So, walking back to Harlington now, we'll film a few trains on the main line as we go. Right, we're out of Lee Grave now into the countryside and uh, we're going to bear right here now where that uh, truck's just gone rather a dilapidated tree here covered in ivy so we're heading for Sundon and Streetly it's not taking us that long to walk to this point Yeah, it's been pruned quite obvious there's that in the last few years. Looks well, almost dead. Oh dear. Wet. Chelton and Orton Regis are down that way. Luton's where we've just come from down there. And we're going this way. We'll come back closer to the railway line a bit further on. Right, this is the village of Sundon. Oh, I don't know Sundon. Just come from down that way. There's a nice pub here called the uh, Red Lion, which is Britain's most commonest pub name. When you go down there just to the left, there's a, another little brick built bus shelter which has all of two buses a day calling at it. We've just seen the previous one, I don't know what, 12 19. The mini bus it was. Right, we're going to go down here now. Wish me luck. Let's see how far we go. About eight minutes of battery power left now, so it probably won't go all the way to. Arlington, we'll see. I can continue with the eye foot on this time because there's plenty of charge in that. Well, I think like a, a mud paddle all the way a bit. Yeah, I got quite 
quite a good view here now. You can see Toddington Services right in the distance. It's the M1. Right, let's hope it goes okay down here. It's not too bad for now. So we can't go down there, not that we need any to anyway, because the sewage works. So it's up this path here, and then left, easy left at the end. That horse must have come through this way, unless of course it's only just gone. Well, this there's some horse marks, hoof marks. You can hear the... Can't see them, but you can hear them, trains. We just come down this path here now through the trees. There's a lot of uh, dumped tyres and also a wreck of a car, or four before to be exact. Anyway, that aside and the dumped tyres here, we're going to turn left at just about 90 degrees and go down here. Oh dear. Should have had my walking boots for this, but anyway. Oh, five minutes of battery power left now. It's getting worse. So we have some nice views here, but it's uh, and it just doesn't look. But it's because it's winter time, isn't it? Really? There's no, no, nothing on the trees. This was middle of July, early August, small like that it'd be. There's thickening foliage with the trees. And this, where we're walking here, it'd be probably dry as a stick. It's as soggy as a, I don't know, marsh bog, whatever. So we're heading over that way next, anyway. Right. Oh. Minefield. Mud. <coughs> ah. Here we are. Now you could actually get underneath here. And it's been modified for the electrification, a bit of it has. Anyway, we don't want to go down there, that's looking south. We're going up this way. And there's a path now, here, that goes right to the station. As far as one can tell. I'll keep it rolling for a bit now in case a southbound train comes. Might just make Harlington. We've got four minutes left now. Oh, cracky. No broken, twisted ankles here. I think a football boot would be quite good here. Now, wear that. It's so sloppy. So horrible. And the up fast's off. Up main rather. <coughs> Not easy to make it up, but in C125 it's probably going to Sheffield. Check it later. Right, that's what we wanted to get. Let's continue. Ah, northbound Thames Link. Oh, passing. And a southbound Thames Link. We're just south of Harlington Station now, so we'll be getting back on here a bit later. Right, 
Right, let's continue up this muddy path, which is soaking wet, to Harlington Station. This is Harlington, just plain Harlington, because there's another one called Hayes and Harlington on the Great Western main line. Oh, ankle deep. Oh, absolutely soaking wet now, my feet. Let's keep going. Right, here's Harlington Station. So, almost finished. We can head on to uh, Harl uh, Harpenden. Keep getting me. Because both stations begin with an H, H-A-R. Oh dear. About one minute of battery power left now. So. We'll continue with the iPhone shortly. Might be wrong, but I think this is a similar layout to Flitic. With only one platform, yellow, t uh, green tick, only one platform is accessible. And that's the down main, which we'll probably hardly ever use. So, Harlington, nice little Midland station. What's original, I don't know, but it doesn't look too bad. Let's get on the platform. I'll stop the arranger shortly. Now that we're here. Ah, uh, yeah. This is it. There's only this one platform with step free access, and uh, until they finish the upgrade. I would imagine that this is a yellow tick station, but only 25% accessible. There's no other means of getting onto the island platform in the middle, or the far side. Right, let's uh, go over to platform one. Right, this is our next train. Not sure if it's the planned one yet, but it's going where we want to go, so we'll get on it. If we are ahead, well, all to the good. Coming on the opposite side as well, yeah. Right, this is Luton. We're going to come back here a bit later and possibly have a ride on the guided busway over to Dunstable. <coughs> so I may have to continue, as I say, with the iPhone shortly because it's uh, very low now. Is the battery level? It's a happenance. That's another tick. And this train is going on to the fast lines bit look of it now, I think, with that feather. I'd imagine so. So I'll have food here and then head on back to Luton for the health spa. So we are slightly ahead, only about a quarter of an hour. Not a massive amount. As soon as this train came in at um, Arlington, we thought we'd get on it. You just don't get trains like this in West Yorkshire, do you? 12 car, 12 car formations. Right. So, Harpenden, tick. Let's uh, see how we can get out now where the way out is. Right, we've changed to the iPhone now because the camcorder has uh, given up a ghost as the battery's flat, so just come down to the station up there. And if you switch cameras, come to the station. I'm just using it on 1080, so it's not going to fill the camera, the memory up too quickly. So we'll have a little wander down here. A lot of bikes, aren't they? Surprised they're allowed to chain the bags to, that, to fences like that. You quite often it says do, you're not allowed to most places. We've 
got a sandwich and a drink and a packet of crisps for all lunch, so that will have to suffice. This isn't high street, is it? like for both of us. Oh, fairly good actually I think. But we don't want one. Right now we don't. Right, this is High Street. High Street Harpenden. Uh, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah, I'm tempted to go down that way a bit later when I have Oh, even just across there, that's nice. Let's have a little walk up here first, see a, a little bit of the town, and then we'll, we'll have some, have some buddies. Because I didn't actually do that walk with a break, I just did it from end to end. I mean, just, just under five miles, so I did overestimate there a little bit. I think it was here six. Centre bus. It's Yorkshire Tiger in West Yorkshire now, isn't it? What was centre bus? There's a spoons here. The mountain warehouse. Yeah, I think this is a little bit nicer than Wellingborough Church. What's that? Oh, it's a Methodist church, is that one? It's a Methodist church. of warehouse. I don't think we really need to go in there but we'll have a look as we're passing. Mm. If I go in there I've probably got a tendency to spend money I don't really want to spend. Got the pub near me, a cock in eh? That's a bit, uh, I don't know, how to get away with these pub names. And there's a church behind it. Oh, that's what's nice. I thought it was a castle at first with that uh, like tower. And the gardens are lovely. This will be, oh, this will be, in summer, this will be just a blaze of colour and greenery. And, oh, yeah. If I get a chance to come here again, I will know. Lovely has happened then. Absolutely lovely. Right, well, I think we're going to go out of town further up there now. So we will turn back and head across over. Nice as that coffee. Bit bright as the sun now for you. Let's have a look at the church. to a, a couple of old ladies in that bus shelter who were waiting for a free bus. Right, this is um, the Parish Church of St Nicholas Harpenden and we'll have a little closer look at it. I'm not sure it's open or not, but uh, 
all night churches. Nice clean sandstone. It's open. Two o'clock, 1400 hours. It says it's open, but the door's shut. Uh, I don't think we'll go in. Not sure it'd be quite appropriate this filthy after walking like we did. Yeah. There's a school there, the school with the same name, St. Nicholas. Right, now where can we have butties? Might just go back down with that trees down there. Right, we've had butties and we are just gonna have another few minutes here and then we're gonna head back to the station. Okay, so let's have a look around. There's an interesting signboard down there, which I'm gonna have a look at very shortly. So we'll do that and then head back to the station. It's uh, 1451 now is new time. 1451, just to loot and then we'll take uh, I thought we'd have a little wander down here. I was looking for a spoons earlier, but there isn't one. Someone said it would lower the tone. I can't imagine why they would think that. Weather spoons is pretty good. Very well known name. Right, anyway, be that as it may. What's this? Park hit Park Hall. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, it says something about it there. Let's have a look at that now. Uh, Harpenden Town Council. So what's this say then? Oh. Built 1850 with government funding and public subscription monies. As the British School on Land given in trust by Sir John Bennett Laws. Refurbished uh, in 1984. So, yeah, interesting. Very nice. Right, uh, where's that sign gone? Oh, look at that. That's just here. <coughs> Can't believe we're so, so close to London now, and it's uh, really nice. Sort of. Not rural, rural, but it's nice sort of country style. Right, so that's the sign of Harpenden. It's very similar to Bali, if I'm not much mistaken, is that? Same on both sides. Oh, yeah, look. Yeah, you definitely know where you are. Like a stag on top, isn't it? Right, uh, let's go back to the train station. From Harpenden, I apologise that I haven't been able to cover everything, but uh, we've covered most of it, I think we're going to need to do now. So we'll head back to the station and get the next train on to Luton. Right, just leaving Harpenden, a very nice little place. So on to Luton and uh, we'll have a ride on the bus guideway if we can to Dunstable. If not, we won't bother. And then to Health Spa. Hello, in the shadows. We have just got off this train here. It's heading on to Bedford. We've been here before actually, some whiles ago when we went to Great Whipsnade Zoo. I did that little railway. This is Luton. The airport is in the distance down there where that crane is.
bus up there that's now a Z it wasn't that coming but uh, that's what we're going to get back in a few minutes uh, won't spend too long here now because I want to get to the health spa otherwise we only have about two or three hours so we'll have a look at Priory Gardens which I think is somewhere just over here there it is that's the bus we just got off use the authorised walking route in an authorised manner. Right, let's go. Over. To the Priory House tea rooms. We have been here before uh, when we did uh, Whipsnade Zoo. All very beautiful and different in their own way, aren't they? Yeah, this one's open. Dunstable Priory. Oh, this is here, got this. So, if you've got to read it, just pause it. Church of St. Peter. Let's go in, shall we? The door's open, it looks inviting. Right, we just had to pop out momentarily to take a call there. But anyway, it's a very nice church, is this? Doesn't appear to have anybody else here at all. So, uh, we will head on to the tea rooms. This is Right, there's a memorial here to both the First and Second World War and uh, looks like it's been cleaned up, doesn't it, recently? As it's lasted like that for a while. And there's uh, an elevation of the church from this side. Let's see if we can find the tea rooms. But they weren't likely to be. There's some more information about the church here, the priory, should I say, not the church, the priory. Prior Augustin Tinea Priory of St Peter. Let's find the tea rooms, the uh, Priory Tea Rooms. And uh, we had a nice cream tea scone for £4.15. That was very nice. Right, uh, we can't get back out that way, so we we'll have to go this way, I think, now. Okay. Right, we need to head back over that way to that bus stop now for service Z. Uh, back to Luton. We do. I like a microphone hedge or privet quite uh, it has some appeal doesn't it don't you think I think it does Christmas tree there with no lights on it because it's obviously not not that time of year I'll go down this way then you can see the church again there the Priory Church, I think that's what some people call it, the Priory Church. There was a much bigger church here many, many moons ago. But of course, with it being an abbey, it was destroyed by King Henry the Eighth, I think it was, who didn't like the didn't like the abbeys. Crying shame. Right, we've not done it all, but we're back on the guideway again now. 
the old railway. now and the bus is just there we've just used it was a not Z it was uh, it's better a bit more direct than Z was I thought Z was a direct one anyway we're back here now so let's have a break for the health spa and then we'll go back to Corby a bit later on right after a bit of a time at what three hours or so three three and a half hours at the sauna health spa we have made it back to Luton Luton main station it's our Luton town the airport parkway one is about half a mile or so around the corner down there. And we're going to go back down this way now, up the down main, back to Kettering, we'll take the line to Corby. And that is end of day three. It is, so that's the last bit today. And I should be able to do a proper sign off today for the yeah, first yeah. time. Please, please. Oh, yeah. uh, fair enough. Anyway, this is Corby. We used this one yesterday evening from Kettering just back to Corby. So, anyway, getting out this one now, straight back to Corby. I'm just leaving Luton now, heading back to Corby. So, that's as I hit the end of day three. So, let's just go back to Corby and back to the digs. Right, heading back to Corby. This is forming the 2143, back to, just to Kettering next. And I think there's one more service to arrive, there might be more, I don't know if there's one or possibly two. But anyway, we're going to exit very shortly. So yeah, um, that's it, end of day two, oh, sorry, day three, end of day three. And we'll we'll walk back to the digs today, I'm not going to get a taxi, it's, uh, it's cool, but it's it's doable. It was a bit lazy yesterday evening, but I was a bit knackered, so. Right, end of day three, see you in on. <laughs> 